Every time I watch a fine teacher teach, I feel the same way I do when I watch a great violinist perform. I can't understand how in the world they pull that off. Teaching is a, a highly complex and very engaging job and there's never really a moment when you're teaching when you're not sort of really trying to manage ten complex tasks at once. That's what good teachers do. Good teaching looks seamless, but the work underneath the surface uh, is intense and it's ongoing and it's unending. Subtract two, subtract two. Learning is such a basic human need that humans evolve to be teachers. Education is one of the great hopes for being able to move people. To me, that's fundamentally what education's about. It sort of couples to every societal issue you can think about. We live in a society where education is probably the key to the American dream. There's this thought that you can come here, work hard, go to school. You see how the go to school part's always in that equation, like it's always part of it. I think of myself as a teacher first and foremost. So I've always felt the most important part of any role I've had, whether it's provost or dean, the most important part of that role has to be been a teacher. Coming in, I never thought I'd be in education. I was like, oh, kids, that sounds terrible. The ways as adults in like school settings interact with kids was always like, be quiet, kind of trying to keep them in control. Once it like clicked in that it's not about control, but about freedom instead, they think in amazing ways when you let them. That intellectual challenge of bringing the curriculum to the children is a set of puzzles every single day. We both do research and worry about it coming into practice, but we also take practice and bring it into research. There are a lot of shoulders of giants that we stand on in terms of the research we get to do today, and it's, it's a real privilege. I think that's been a really healthy reminder about why I came here. Schools of education are crucial in that they bring together the voices of the field and of research in ways that breaks down the silos that we often see between universities and the communities that they serve. We are the world's leading researchers in areas of education. It is a perfect balance of fundamental research and application. The conversations that I see between researchers and practitioners build better research questions. And so I think we're going to be more apt to come up with better solutions. We're going to know more about education as long as we have that engagement. Right, so now what can we do here? We have a tradition at Stanford to actually say we want to make sure that our graduates are able to understand the community that surrounds them and that they work to make it better. I use things every single day that I learned at Stanford. How I think about teaching, how I think about my planning, how I think about supporting students, how I think about working with underserved students, I learned from Stanford. Education is the foundational platform on which we get to renew ourselves. We can either be passive recipients of the culture that we exist in, or we can be active in trying to frame that culture. Education has this multiplier effect. So if you can create something that truly works, it's incredible how many people around the world will use that. The best thing we could learn was that some of our ideas had become so ubiquitous and universal that nobody knows they came from Stanford. They've become everyone's.